النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم he says that لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله باب من أبواب الجنة it's a door of the doors of the paradise meaning anyone who says it it will make the worship easy for him and as a result the door of the paradise opens for him النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم he says لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله كنز من كنوز الجنة that it is a treasure a chest of the treasures of the paradise what does that mean do you know the entire paradise is a treasure but when the nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam says that this word is a treasure in the paradise meaning is it is a treasure compared to the treasure that's already in the paradise and you understand something yani manata its reward is huge that's what it means that the reward of this word is so huge it's a door of the paradise on its own for the one who continuously used to say it. You know, a kanz, a treasure, a treasure box. What's in a treasure box? What's inside a treasure box? Money, gold, valuable gold. It's already collected for you. You don't have to collect it. In other words, لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله. العلماء رحمهم الله, they said this one phrase collects a lot of meanings within it. When you say لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله, it affirms the fact that you are relying on Allah Azza wa Jal. There's reliance of Allah inside this statement. When you say لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله, تدل على الافتقار إلى الله. It also implies that you are acknowledging your weakness before Allah Azza wa Jal. There's so many meanings within لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله. When Nabi sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, he says in a hadith, that لا حول ولا قوة إلا بالله تحت العرش It's underneath the arsh. طيب, I ask you a question. What's written on top of the arsh? And pay attention so you can learn something incredible in this. What's written on top of the arsh? Who knows? There's something written on top of the arsh. Allah wrote it and it's a book and He stored it on top of the arsh. It's a few words. Allah Azza wa wrote, Inna rahmati sabaqat ghadabi. That's on top of the arsh. It means Allah Azza wa said, My mercy, my mercy precedes my anger. My mercy overrides my anger. That's on top of the arsh. Underneath the arsh, La hawla wa la quwwata illa billah. Hmm. What's the relationship between the two? On top of the arsh, Allah is teaching us how He deals with the servants. How He deals with us. He deals with us with mercy and compassion. And under the arsh, what is written is how we are supposed to deal with Allah. And that is that we cannot do anything except with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's help and aid and support.